yet but I'm going to watch sunrise Craig's in bed it's pretty in between the trees all right the sun has basically risen so I'm going back for my morning tea what a beautiful day already. I just love walking through these woods. It's so fun. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Oak Rocks. We are on day two. Heading out to the beach. I'm walking down the trail right now. Got about another two minutes I should be there. And uh, we're going to see what we can find. Yesterday was pretty successful, so hopefully today goes just as well. All right, talk to you in a bit. There's Elizabeth. Liz made it down there a little bit quicker than I did this morning, so. Looking like we may have the beach to ourselves again. This is awesome. Oh yeah. Not a person in sight. Beautiful. It's a beautiful little uh, green and black stone. It's a neat little piece of aerolite. Guessing this is a piece of coal. That's pretty neat. There's another one I think is going to have to come home and get cut. It's hard to really tell from the outside, but you can see this little window. It's got something going on inside. Just a very solid piece of jasper. It's uh, purple and yellow. It's pretty cool. I guess it'd be more of a red tint, but really neat piece. Now that's a really cool piece of fossil suit. Looks like crinoid stems. Awesome finding this coal all over the beach. Ooh, yeah, here. That's pretty neat. Definitely a stromatoperoid, but it's got some uh, honeycomb coral in it as well. Interesting. Beautiful stromatoperoid. Well, this is really neat. I think that's jasper. Almost positive it's jasper, but it's a mix of like some greens, yellows, little hint of red. That is really cool. Unless it's petrified wood, which it very well could be as well. Super cool. There we go. Awesome piece of chain coral. Look at that. It's about as defined as it gets. Probably one of my better pieces I've ever found. Absolutely gorgeous. I may have to keep this one. Some more Jacobsville sandstone. Stuff is so neat. Absolutely love that red color. 
there's Liz and her favorite piece of wood she's found so far. <laughs> oh, she wants to bring it home, but it's huge. Another bone. Finding a lot of bones today. Liz is bound and determined to get that piece of wood. I don't think she understands it's not going to fit in the car. <laughs> oh, funny. Well, this was a little sad. She couldn't bring that huge piece of driftwood home. But I just found this really cool knot that was just kind of rolling around in the surf. I think I'm going to grab it, bring it home for her. It's really cool. Really awesome wood grain patterns here. Now that right there is an extremely old piece of corn. Wow, that's really funky. <laughs> that's so old. Awesome. It's a beautiful piece of jasper. Already came pre-tumbled. Thanks Lake Michigan. It's a beautiful little granitoid. Just thought the colors were neat. That's all I got. All this black sand, we should have brought our gold panning stuff. <laughs> Find some flower gold. This is a pretty piece of quartz. I don't usually pick up quartz, but... That's a really nice piece. Check out this fossil. I think it's Syringopora. We'll get a... There we go. Look at all those little tiny pores or whatever you want to call them. Walking up over here on the high bank. Noticed a big old rock pile. Take a look here, see if we can find anything. Uh, fairly uneventful. Thanks for playing, better luck next time. This one that Liz picked up. Not exactly sure what it is, but it's kind of neat. There's little black plume looking things going through it. Man, what a beautiful day it's turning out to be. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, I think I just found a little honey hole. Check this out. Hey. All right, well, I'm going to get distracted by rocks here for a minute. Great talking to you. <laughs> it's a little piece of jasper. Oh, that's a really pretty one. Really pretty. I think I'm going to leave it, though. Liz just came over with a couple finds. A beautiful little chain coral here. A nice little... Uh, Lime green, well not lime green, but green rock. This looks like pure epidote, which it very well could be, I guess. This is Y stone. <laughs> it's an awesome little fossil. It is just fine. Really cool. I got that fossil wet so I can see it a little bit better. Really cool. I think it's Syringopora. I just can't see the uh... Oh no, it's chain coral. Oh, no kidding. It's definitely chain coral. Tiny little chain coral. Nifty. It's 
cool little cold water agate. Awesome little banding going on there. Hopefully the camera's picking up all that sand that's just blowing across. <laughs> Looks like a fine little mist. So this is a really cool piece of uh, porphyry. It's like porphyritic rhyolite. It's just some pretty awesome feldspar crystals and then uh, looks like we got a little bit of jasper running through the cracks. Awesome. It's a really cool one. Silica material. <clears throat> it's got tiny little, tiny little agate bands around all those white pockets, but really cool. Very first piece of beach glass of the weekend. Woohoo! Piece of pottery. That's definitely an old one. So we stepped away from the uh, water a little bit to get out of the wind and just stumbled upon the mother load. Just rocks everywhere. So we are going to take a little time here, see if we can't find anything. Comes Liz with a handful of goodies. <laughs> this little guy's got a little agate pocket right here. And then a little fossil. That's cool. That's another fossil. Looks like we might have the edge of a brachiopod here. It's an owl right there. It's not an owl. It's literally the way that the tree is like broken up, so that's funny.